I'm Jonathan Ayers with Network for Success, and today we're going to talk about what explores the internet on a Macintosh laptop. Well, let's think about this for a minute. In order to explore the internet, you have to have some application, you have to have some tool, you have to have some way to look at the internet, and that's called a browser. What are the names of some of the browsers that we have available? Well, if you're using a PC, it would be called Internet Explorer. And for generic use, we have Firefox and Opera. Those are a few of the browsers that are available. But when you get over to a Macintosh, it has a built-in browser made by Macintosh for Macintosh for exploring the internet. And the name of that browser is Safari. Now let me show you Safari. Right up here in the left hand corner on our toolbar we have on our dock we have an icon for Safari. I'm going to click on that icon and it's going to open up Safari as a browser. And Safari of course is set to go right to the Apple page no wonder here. And it's you surf the internet exactly the same way. You have your bookmarks and you have your different tools for making references and you have your favorites and your history and so forth. You can increase the size of the font when you're going through browsing if you like very simply by pushing your Apple and plus key at the same time. And other features that make the Safari browser just as modern and perfect as Internet Explorer, which is built into the Windows operating system. So for a Macintosh laptop, when you want to go out and explore the Internet, your first choice is always going to be Safari because it's built in, well integrated, and works well.